Sarah Oates here with Divi Space and in this video we're going to be looking at how you can use Page Builder Everywhere to put modules inside of other modules inside of other modules. So let me explain how this works. So for this example we have a chair company or a furniture company trying to sell off some furniture. So we've got this beautiful slider that is showing off this chair and then if we slide through we're seeing another beautiful layout again promoting this chair. If you're going to click on the button you're going to go through to say the WooCommerce page where they can actually purchase the chair. So this is going to help get them over the line if they're wanting to buy. Now already this layout in terms of a slider would be really hard to achieve using the Divi Builder just out of the box. You would need another third party plugin. But with Page Builder Everywhere, which you're likely to be using anyway because you're going to put fancy headers and fancy footers, it's already going to be there on your website. You're going to be able to do beautiful sliders as well using this. So here you can see we've got this great looking slider. We've got this beautiful looking layout with an image and buttons, but then we've also got these tab sections. So tab sections to then have these multiple columns would be really hard. Um, and of course, if you're wanting to do things like this, that then gets even more tricky. But because you can now use the Divi Builder inside of a tab module, then you're going to be able to use the blurb modules inside of those tab modules inside of a slider. So now you can be having multiple layers of your layouts going on. So let's go and have a look in the back end of this and see how it actually works. So let's click on enable visual builder and then that's going to take us in to have a bit more of a look. Now one of the beautiful things about the new version is that you used to have to actually go to the Divi library to be able to edit all of these individual layouts, but now the way they've got it set up, you're going to be able to actually do it right from the Visual Builder, which is fabulous. All right, so as you can see, it's looking a little bit funny. Don't worry about how it looks when you're in the Visual Builder. You know that it looks great um, on the front end, which is all that matters. Now, what we want to do, if you don't like how it looks, by the way, if it just annoys you too much, you can click here and then just go to this view. And then you can just see you've got a slider. Okay, great. We know what it looks like. We don't need to see it in the Visual Builder. So then click on the cogwheel and that's going to then show you your multiple slides. So if we then click into one of these slides, we can see here Page Builder Everywhere Tutorial First Slide Chair. And the great thing now is that you can actually click on Click to Edit, which you can actually click on this whole purple thing here. And what it will do is open up a whole brand new tab. So you don't even have to go anywhere, which is fabulous. And especially if you can't remember what it was called, you don't have to go in, look at the name, then go to the Divi library and then go and find it. You can just click on it and it'll open up in a new tab. All right, so now we can see that that has then opened up and shown us the slider itself. Let that load. All right, so now we can see we've got our slide. And so inside this slide, this is the new layout that it's actually showing. So we can see the layout here. We can see that it's got a big section. It's not letting me scroll temporarily. All right, so we've got our big section. Inside that, we've got a row. Inside that, we've got some modules. So some text modules, we've got button modules. So obviously we can make edits to these. We've got our image there. And then we've got a new row. And in this row, we have tabs. So if we then click on our tabs. We can see then again, we have all our different sections. And so if we go and then click on those ones, again, you're gonna see that you're showing another page builder everywhere um, section. And again, what you can do is click on it. It's gonna open up another tab. So instead of having to go back into the Divi library and make all these edits, you're actually gonna be able to do it from within the page itself. And it's just gonna open up new tabs. So you haven't lost where you were up to in the previous tab, which is fabulous. So now you can see we've actually got this layout here. And inside this layout, we've got a section, we've got a row, and then we have these, um, these items here. So it looks like we've got an image and then some text under that one. But one that I'd like to show you particularly, so if we tick out of that one, is if we come to the chair specifications one. So we can click here and then go, just click on that one. It's again gonna open, oh, it might want me to close this one off first. Let's click to open that one then what we're going to see is that we're using blurb modules. So being able to actually separate it out into the four columns is super useful. But then inside of that, you can use other modules like image or videos or whatever, like blo um, blog posts, anything that you can think of, you're going to be able to put inside of there. But even just the blurb module is really, really useful being able to put an icon and having it all 
you know, work out all the spacing and everything for you. So this is how you're going to be able to do it. It's really easy now with Page Builder Everywhere and even easier since their recent update, which is going to mean now that you can then just click on these little purple icons, I guess they're icons or purple boxes, and they're going to take you directly to be able to make those edits as you need to. So now you don't have to go digging around and looking for which layout it is. And so now you can see that you can be making all these beautiful layouts that sit inside these tabs. And then the tab can be sitting inside another layout and those layouts can then be sitting inside this whole slider. And then if we go out of our visual builder, let's save and exit and close off that other tab. Save and exit and go and have another look at our beautiful looking slider that has inside of it layouts, that has inside of it tabs, that has inside of it other modules. I am really looking forward to seeing what other people can come up with. I would love to see some examples where people are using multiple levels of um, layouts inside of other layouts because I think there's some really creative things people can come up with and it's going to mean that you don't need to go looking for third-party plugins to be able to achieve what you're wanting to achieve. So thanks for checking out this video. Check out our other videos if you're wanting to find out more ways that you can use Page Builder everywhere. Thanks. Have a great day.